OK, it's time for the US pros now. Andy Patterson, what's this weather going to be like down there? I don't know, the, but the first turn looks pretty hectic. There's a lot of slipping going on now. It's coming down quite heavy. Are you going to be OK, though? I'm going to try my best. And you've got quite a good draw. Yeah, gate two is pretty good. Well, I've got to get down the bottom, so if I jump on the back, we'll be all right, all right? No, head on. <laughs> so, to the last race of the day, the US pros. Eric Group has already uh, won a couple of events out of the three, losing in week two to Greg Hill. So the pro leaderboard is still wide open. On the extreme right, Mike Miranda. Hollywood Mike, they call him. Don't have conditions like this out there, do they? And next to him is Andy Patterson for the blue team. And then Nelson Shanaday uh, for the white. And Greg Hill for the yellow team. Brian Patterson for the silver team, the number one uh, pro from the US of A. Alongside him, the world champion himself, Clint Miller, for the green team. That's Eric Roop for the red team. And Harry Leary's got the draw on extreme left for the black team. There's a total of £2,000 at stake for this race. And Roop has come right over the far side. A very good start indeed. And they're skidding all over the place. And uh, bail out there for uh, Miller, Hill and Miranda. And Roop managed to get into second place and hold it. My goodness, how did he do that? But it's Shannaday still in the lead. Shannaday from Roop. Roop tries to come inside him, puts his elbow against his hip, and down goes another straw bale. Well, these lads are using all the track this time, but Shannaday in the lead. Roop flying after him, Patterson in third. They're all closing up now, and Shannaday the leader. It's very slippy around that final berm. And into the finishing straight, Shannaday pulls a wheelie over the last jump, takes first place for his white team, second is Eric Roop for red, and third, Andy Patterson for blue. Winner of the US Pro, Nelson, what a race. Yeah. Did you notice the pile up there at the first bend? Oh yeah, I was expecting that. And you kept clear? Yeah, when it gets wet, you lose traction and you lose your brakes. And you must be very happy about that. It's your first win in the series. Yeah. Two to go. Two to go. So we're going to end up with a hat trick? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Well, I'm not sure what's going on here, but there seems to be a protest against Eric Roop. No problems. No problems. All right. What happened on that first bend then? I got put off the track. You and then, they, and then <laughs> intentionally, I couldn't get back on. I didn't, didn't, I didn't lose a position. Right. In fact, I did lose a position. I went off and first came back in second, and they put me to last. Will there be a protest about this? I'm going to protest. Eric Roop was in first place, but Brian Patterson slides into him. Eric Roop hits the hay bales right over the top of them. Nelson Chanady goes through to first. Now, this is where the controversy starts because Eric Roop cut the corner and went into second. I've examined the line he took. I've talked it over with two corner referees. And had he got back on the course, even on the same side he went off, he would have gone at least to last position. Anyways. So let's get this straight then. Why has he been put to last place? Uh, he cut the course, IBMX ref rule. Cut the course, you're moved to position. Even though he was taken out? Uh, he was ta yeah, even though. He doesn't have the last word. Well, I'm sorry, Eric. It seems he does. This week's winners are Andy Patterson's blue team, which means at the end of round four, the blues have taken first position away from the golds with the whites hot on their tail. So there you go, the end of uh, week four, and we end it on high drama here in Birmingham. Yes, it certainly was. It's quite unfortunate, but I mean, the first turn is so slippery that uh, Eric really couldn't avoid it. And the wheel marks are quite clear. He did sort of like cut quite a lot of the track off. And the referee's decision is final, so. And that's it. So we've had uh, high drama, lots of excitement, all the best action as usual. The freestylers were brilliant this week. And uh, the whole circus now heads up uh, northeast. We're going to Gateshead, and we'll check you out if you'll check us out next Monday, same time on Channel 4. Let's hope the weather improves. I hope so.